王様戦隊キングオージャーはい I'm Kessa Henshin and I am back with a little update on the King Ojo vs. movies with k y o r y u j a and Don Brothers. Now, I already have done a video on this, so don't come at me in the comments, but there has been an updated trailer and some exciting things happening. But I'm going to quickly watch the trailer as I usually do and then we'll go step by step in each shot to talk about why each shot is now more exciting. We're seeing new characters pop up. And more information about what the story could be about. So let's get into it. Keza? Henshin! Let's get into it! We're back in Hagabaka! So the Don Brothers conflict. They will die? Wait, 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 wait! Okay, I'll go back in a second. They're talking, w a r fighting. Oh my god, whoa! I didn't realize there was gonna be so much new content. Oh my god, wait! Is that the. They brought it. c u t y o u t o o They brought them back! Yes. <gasps> Wait, Prince is disappearing? Oh, yes. There's gonna be some time fuckery. Oh my god, there's so much. Oh, god. oh we see their conflict, confrontation there. A fight against. Oh. Why did Ian get so much more fashionable? Am I the only one that's noticed this? Oh, Yowie gets to fight again. Oh my god, all of them! <gasps> What are we meant to do? Okay, I'm glad I, I did do this video because I was like, I already did a trailer analysis. Why do I need to do another one? This is why. V Cinema, back in Hakabaka. Let's go. Hakabaka is such a pretty place. Have we discussed that yet? Hakabaka is. Visually astounding. It's beautiful. The, the bright neon colors. It's beautiful. Sorry. How could I sound more British? It's beautiful. <laughs> anyway, so we got our standoff. Ah,、oh, there they are. But they are in their updated looks. I did wonder if there was going to be like another third updated look because of the time skip and then Yanma going blonde, the change of dress. The change of outfit, he's now dressed as Raculis. The change of outfit here as well.、Um, the short hair for Rita and the grey hair for, well, greyish hair for d u b o s k i But I, yeah, but I wondered if there was going to be a third update look, which I wouldn't have been too, me,、uh, too upset about, but I guess it would have been too different. And the k y o r y u j a s are already looking so much different as well, so maybe it doesn't need to be that different. And then we got the d o m Brothers. <laughs> I'm so excited to see them back. Like, honestly, still upset that Sonoy isn't in it, but I still think the story is going to be about them trying to find Sonoy's soul. Why else would they be in the land of the dead? But something I heard in the, in the trailer, which we'll hear in a second, is them saying something about dying. Shinda. Let me just make sure that that is、uh, Japanese Shinda meaning. Shinda. Yeah, Shinda means dead. So. Either the fact that they are there, that means they are dead, or that they die in the fight somehow. I don't know how necessarily that's gonna work, but it, it, they're dead. But we'll hear in a second. Slight updated looks, not for you. Not for you. You just look like you're ready to fight. He looks very much, as I said before, his souls are together, his two personalities are one now, because of the sweat back hair. The gold as well on his outfit. So I think we're definitely getting Jiro as one character. Taro is still in the white suit, so it must mean like this is his new job. The world has changed around him, which is slightly strange. So this is his new job. But yeah, and also the black hair. He had, he had darker hair in the BL that we watched. And oh my god, the fact that he still has black hair, well, darker hair, I'm like. It's reminding me a lot of things. Anyway, we got Haruka back as well.、Um, <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we got. I'm just looking at him and giggling, moving on. And then we got the last two down here, which is awesome that they're all back together again. I'm really happy. Just sad that Sanoi is there, but as I said before, it must be Sanoi's soul. Anyway. Zay Shinda. Zay Shinda. They all die, I assume. Because everybody just flops and then the black screen. But only only Gira and Taro are still up. I don't know what that means. I definitely think the whole fight will be in 
Hakabaka. But there are shots of them out of Hakabaka, I think. So yeah, let's have a look at those. But everyone's down. That's so interesting. <laughs> okay. Wait, let me see that shot one more time. Yeah, they all just flop to the floor. Then this guy! Oh god, I hate that I'm excited to see this guy again. But yes, our very traumatized, um, needing therapy quickly guy is here. In Chikyu, which is crazy, he is still his king form. So, how does that work? But I guess he has to be the king form because this is King Oja. But yeah, so he is back, which is really interesting. He's still got his like ninja attire underneath, which is very funny to me. So he's back as the, his king form, which is nice. Um, I wonder why, because they defeated the king form, didn't they? So, how is he back? Why is he back? It must be something to do with Hakabaka, that makes sense. But he's not dead though. I have many questions. I have many questions. Okay, so we are we are actually in the kingdoms for these confrontations, which is nice. And as we said, it's Rita confronting Haruka about maybe a manga for Mafon and me. This time we're actually seeing the TV show, the Mafon show, which is nice. So it must be that they're like, do you know Mafon? This is Mafon. Make Mafon. That's my theory for what's happening here. But yeah, Haruka's still doing manga. Yay. Anyway, moving on to the next place. We are in the Cospa with Jeremy and Sarahara, which is nice. Um, and they're having a full-on conversation. <laughs> of course. The, the, the guy who tells all the stories and the one who's like the most highest to like enlightenment. Of course, they're the two that conflict and could communicate that's so funny and also of course Yanma is the one that's completely confused on the other side of the conversation I kind of like this dynamic I never thought it would be Jeremy and Sarahara but it makes sense that it is so that's kind of nice that's kind of cute I like that and Yanma looking confused as heck because yes oh okay Jiro and Dubowski doing a sumo thing doing a sumo fight that would make sense for the very traditional land of tofu. I was gonna say, Jiro looks like he's like jacked up a little bit. Like he's a lot more like buffed up, but I don't know if that's anything to do with it. It just, he seems a lot more like uh, toughened up. It might have been that he toughened up for the role for this movie. Oh, is this the time that we're gonna finally find out who this guy is? I know the whole point of them is that they're hidden and not necessarily shown, but I really need to know that this is like, this is Kaito or something. All this time I've been saying, this is Kaito. I'm still waiting. Can't imagine if that is actually what happens. I've got some great theories in my head. I should trust myself more, but imagine if that's the kicker. That's how it connects the world. It's K Kaito. I still think that Kaito Black, the not the one from Zenkaija, but the, the one from Don Brothers could be the god from the last episode of Zenkaija. Spoilers, sorry. But I still think that that could be because why? who is this other Kaito? Why is Don Brothers... There's so many questions about Don Brothers that we'll probably never know, but I'm still trying to work it, work it out. Moving on. Okay, so we've got Don Momotoro. Oh, look at him. <laughs> I can't, I can't look at this guy's face anymore without remembering certain things, but it, amazing either way. Okay, so he said, I think he says interesting, but that's just very Domomotoro of him. <laughs> it's like interesting, it, there's nothing interesting about it or something, I don't know. I still think that they're trying to stop them from going into Hakabaka, so, so they randomly appear in Chikyu, they're like teleported there or something. And they get, they have access to Hakabaka. So they've gone into Hakabaka and the kings are there to protect Hakabaka and say, you can't come in. That's my theory. Okay, why is he shooting out sidewards? What weird green screen. We're going back to the green screen, but yeah. So it looks like they're fighting against each other here, obviously with Haruka and Sonoza and then Himeno and Rita fighting against each other here. But I think that they might start fighting each other, but then here is Rita? 
and Nani here. So this must be like two fights that happen. They fight each other, work out that they're actually here for him. Maybe it's not for Sunoi's soul, but for him. But yeah, they're fighting together against him. So the, the, this king monster must come in at some point. But then they've hidden it between fights between our actual teams as well. Clever, clever. But I saw that they were fighting together, two sides of the same coin. Is this underwater? That's so interesting. It looks like it's underwater, like this like shimmery bit at the top. That's so interesting. Okay. Ah, oh, the fight's going in together. That's so cool. But yeah, see here, Jiro and Dabowski attacking the king as the king monster as well in Hakabaka. So that's really cool. But then we have this beautiful shot of the two teams going towards each other, like end the game. Oh God, this is end game again. No, I can't do this anymore. Anyway, so we got the title card, and then we're moving. Kaido! I forgot about that! Oh my god, that's so cool! So Kaido Black is just here as well? Incredible. I was conf conflicted whether they were going to bring, like, the king monster and him and Kaido back, but I, of course they would. Of course they would. So, we have Kaido Black. Wow. I have a theory of where this is in the timeline. You know the shot where they fall, and they're like, they're dead, but maybe they, like he walks in afterwards and he because Gira and Taro are still up So it could be like that he comes in to help them or something I don't know the fact that Zenkaiser black is back is incredible and I'm so excited to see Kaito again, honestly Ooh, they both got king crowns. They got both got founding crowns Maybe Kaito brings the crowns in for them to fight with I don't know, but they both have crowns, and this is the two the two founder forms fighting alongside each other. Let me quickly have a look at that again. It looks nice. It's a lot of gold. I, I kind of like the red though. Yeah, they look more yellow than anything. <laughs> but they that's them landing the final shot on the king monster. There it goes. Is that the final shot? Did we just see the final shot of that? But, oh well. <laughs> so we got Zuden Sentai Kyoryuja 10th anniversary. And that's why they're here at the end of this trailer. Because uh, it's their 10th anniversary and hence why we're getting a TTFC special. Anyway, let's go on to this one because there's a lot more information on this now as well. So straight in. He's disappearing. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. Torchan, then disappearing. So he's talking to his dad or calling out for his dad as he disappears bit by bit. But I have a feeling that this is all time fuckery and something happens in the future that doesn't allow the prince to be born. So I think there's time, as I said, time fuckery happening and he's slowly disappearing. Think of all different like time travel movies. There's uh, Back to the Future where they disappear. And then also like I guess Endgame again where they disappear. So King Oja is really just Endgame. He's disappearing slowly. Uchi is there as well with him, which is nice. But yeah, he falls. Ah, help me. Was that dad help me? Dad, help me. Okay, that's what that says. Cool. Wait for me, says King. Uh, looking here, Gira and King stood next to each other, stood side by side, which is great. Prince! Wait, Prince! Wait for me, Prince, he says. That's good there. Wait for me, Prince. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so he knows. Oh my god. Okay, that's kind of cute. So we got we got King here confronting Gira, asking him for help for his son, possibly. Wari? I think Wari is sorry. I might be wrong. Don't quote me. But it sounds like, uh, Dad, help me. Don't uh, wait for me, Prince. Sorry, but I'm not the gear you're looking for. There's something there. Could this be an alternative timeline then? Because like, he, he is... Could this... Ab okay. This is a wild theory. But is this an alternative timeline that they found where Gira would have been Rakules? Like, Rakules, um didn't become the bad guy. Um... But Gira continued to be the bad guy because they're all there. May I assume that it was like they came from Hakabaka, that they were able to come back and take over Gira's body and become evil. And maybe like uh, Gira's 
godly father somehow infected his body. But maybe it's entirely different that this is just an entirely different timeline. Doug Dead actually got his claws into Gira and made him actually evil. This is just a wild theory. Maybe this isn't the King Oja that we know. Maybe? I don't know, because there's time fuckery stuff happening, so maybe something happens, there's like a time monster, goes back in time and changes what happens in the future. Just the theory. Because like, yeah, because then we got the four villains behind him, and oh, this transformation though, I'm gonna go slow-mo, oh, the electricity, the red electricity, the red eyes glowing, explosions, and that form. That form is Gorgeous, like just saying. Look at that gorgeous form. He's got eyes. I didn't notice that last time. <gasps> eyes are the sign of his father. And also, this this suit is definitely Rhinal inspired because of the shield and the spikes and the horns. Evil Gira surrounded by the four horsemen. Where's the girl one though? Where's the girl monster? What? Where'd she go? What the heck? Is she? Good? In this timeline? I don't know. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely something wrong. I thought that maybe like their personalities had switched or there was a spell put on them, but I really think now that this is actually just time fuckery and this is an alternative timeline or something someone went back in time and changed things so it changed the future. I really think that that is what this is now. Wow, okay. I really thought I wasn't going to find anything different in this trailer for King Oja and Kuro Yuja, but now I'm like, actually, just with that one simple clip of Prince disappearing, I think it's different entirely. Wow, okay. Yeah, there we go. We got... We got sad Himeno, who's not in luscious outfits or anything. Eating a pe petal? Are you eating a flower, hun? Are you eating a flower? And then we have Rita just claiming the space, not hiding behind their fringe, which is so different. But the fact that they're in like princely attire as well, almost kind of like what, what Sebas would wear in a way. Very uh, elaborate, very jewel and gold and white very much like look at me i'm grabbing your attention wow okay what is this okay we got who is this who are you sir okay we got suzume here though we got <laughs> the boski looking kind of sad but his hair is not gray his hair is back to being short and 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 black but yeah i definitely think it's a different alternative timeline I, yeah, I genuinely don't think that this is the world that we would know. Something's definitely changed. <laughs> Hi! We didn't get to see the shot of a different Jeremy last time, which is so- So this is really nice to be able to see them just being a different character in this. Or a different Jeremy, I guess. But here we have Uchi's shoulder and also Prince's shoulder. So it's definitely before or after the shot of him disappearing. Like, they've they just arrived or something. And this is them seeing all the different characters. Because he has met them. Uchi has not. So this is going to be very different for them. But we are... I'm so glad that these two are in here. I'm, to be honest, when I saw the other trailer and I saw that she was in one shot, I was just like, oh my god. This is incredible! We haven't seen her in ages! Okay. Moving on. So this is them before the change or after the change. After the time has returned to its usual timeline, maybe? Because, yeah, we've got Himeno in dresses again. Yanma, Rita, and Jeremy. But then an evil... Oh, okay, then we still have evil Gira. Okay, maybe my theory is wrong. I still think there's something there. I don't know. Maybe the time change comes from him. I don't know. But they're trying to save him, which is really, really nice. Or they're trying to kill him. I don't know. You never know with these kings. They, they're they always looking out for themselves. But this looks like, like Yanma's actually trying to look off, trying to find him again. Oh. What does he say? <laughs> yeah, wake up, you slow. You draw Tanuki? Is that, what he, is that it? Yeah, look, it's all of them trying to get Gira back somehow. <gasps> was that the Fangs of Defiance? No, I think it was just an actual attack. Okay, yeah, so they're definitely trying to save Gira in this. 
but then we have the Kyoryujas coming in, fighting the Bugnarok. Oh, that's... <gasps> Did they get married? Did Candelaria and him get married? Oh my gosh! I need to see that. I need to know. Yes, he is here. Obviously, he's the one that's marrying a sort of monster uh, from their series. So it's interesting that he's the one fighting the Bugnarok, not realizing that this is a world where actually Bugnarok and humans coexist in a way. Ah, Ian! Okay, I love how fashionable Ian is. I said this at the very beginning, but like, damn, he is fashionable now. Not that he wasn't before, but this is a lot more like lace and necklaces, where before it was very like leather jackets. Um, but I like that. I like that there's lace on him. Wow, okay. Okay. Is this them seeing each other for the first time? Because this looks like King, and that's obviously him. He said. Senpai? He said Senpai, I think. Oh no, Sentai. We're all Sentai. We're all Sentai Kiryuja, right? <gasps> oh my gosh. He's grown up so much. I love that for him. He seems so much more mature. But oh my gosh, there's Prince. So is this still on our earth and they're having a confrontation beforehand or is them is this them seeing each other again? Because this could be like a before shot before something happens because we see Prince in a warehouse in the other trailer looking very much like he's being attacked, like he's trying to run away from something or confront something that's attacking him. So maybe this is like beforehand before that fight or after that fight. And then we've got the full shot of all of them together. Jiden Sentai returns, it says. Okay, so it just says the Sentai returns. But it's so nice to see him. Oh, the new suit as well, the new helmet. Oh, so excited. But then we have the blue and blue fighting Kami Jim. Send him back to Hakabaka. Then we've got Uchi and Jeremy together with the different weapons. Oh yeah, the weapons. I saw this last time. This is definitely that blue dinosaur that he has there as the weapon, which is cool. It's the grey one! It's the uh, grey Sentai! Oh my god. I can't remember all the names, so I'm sorry. It's to size one, right? Oh my gosh, what's happening here? <gasps> oh, there she is! Oh my gosh! That's- the, okay, that's- that's the- the- the, the talkie monster. Oh my god, I can't remember her name. This girl. She is in this. Okay, remember how I said earlier on, I was just like, I wonder where she is. She's here! Okay! Okay, that changes everything then. It must be she has talked to them all and changed their personalities. I don't know why that means Prince would disappear. I still think that there's something happening with the time fuckery and maybe that did change some things, but at the same time, their personalities could have easily changed uh, due, just due to her and her powers. Okay, but we have Gira back here using, oh, using the Gabatira punches, whatever they're called. They're so cute. Okay. Yellow has green Zapta's swords, uh, Zapta's claws. We got um, the ball, the the chain ball from uh, this guy. We got the pink drill and we got, oh, okay. Uh, and then, wait, 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 that's, that's Gira. That's Gira. Oh, shit. Okay. That's Gira in the founding. And then that's someone else. Who is this? Raki Lee is in this movie, but I don't think he's evil in this. I think he's still in the fucking prison. I swear to God, if he's stuck in the prison the whole way through this movie, I will riot. Genuinely. Evil Gira is here, and this is the founding Gira. So, is this the soul of some evil thing taking over Gira's body and now they've separated? Or is this genuinely like bad timeline Gira and good timeline Gira coming together? Oh, slice through it. <gasps> Yay! I do think that this is still gonna be Torin. This is gonna be Ramirez and this is gonna be Tessai. I can see that they have the grayed out um, things, grayed out chests, which normally means that they're the spirit rangers. Spirit Kiryujas. Yeah, there you go. So they have like the slightly bronze. Uh, chest, um, whereas the others have that yellow um, just to prove that they're alive and not spirits. What's really interesting about this, going back to this, Torin is yellow again. Did Torin ever become a spirit ranger? By the looks of this, maybe not, but at the same time, does he never change then? Maybe because we've never seen him as a spirit ranger, but he dies, this guy. Sorry, spoilers. 
Yeah, so he is dead, but I don't think he's a spirit ranger specifically. So maybe that's why he's still got a yellow chest or is like a bit of a goldy yellow chest. We'll see it. We'll see when they will stand together because then that will prove it will be slightly different. There's definitely Ramirez and Tessai though. Like, oh, it's so exciting that they're coming back. They better have voice lines. I swear if they come in and don't say anything, no point of having them there. Have them actually voice it. If not, we get to see them actually in their human forms. That'd be great. Okay, but we got father and son fighting side by side, which I think is so cute. Both fighting and charging up the gun. I love that he has like capes on the side. Is it slightly different yellow? I don't know. But yes, we've worked out that these are the different weapons for them on the spike, but then these are their Zord weapons. Where is it? So, oh, that's so cool. Okay, cool. Yay! Um, but yes, this comes out on the 26th of, of April. So like in a week or so? Oh no, in a, in, a, in a week or two, possibly. But that's so cool, it's coming out soon! Uh, they'll be in cinemas though, so I don't know when I'll be able to see it, which is a shame. If only I lived in Japan. But anyway, which one are you guys more excited for? The Kiryuja one or the Don Brothers one? Let me know down below and I'll see you guys next time. Kazuhenshin, matane!